In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some basic elements to our web page and style them as we go. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is to add a header to the top of our web page with the title of the page up there. Uh, to do that we go over to the um, insert panel, click on the insert uh, link here and under insert you'll see a list of HTML objects that's what we want selected and you're going to go all the way down to header and choose header we're going to insert it at the insertion point and then rather than a class rule we're going to add an ID rule I'll talk more about the difference between class and ID rules in a later t tutorial but for the moment let's just type in a name for our header div and I'm going to call mine header all lowercase um, is safest, uh, the best way to operate with your names. So type in header, click OK, and now we've created this uh, ID header div at the top of our page. Uh, if you look down in the bottom of the Dreamweaver screen, you'll notice too that we have a tagline here that sort of shows us where we are. This is almost like a breadcrumb trail down here and it shows us where we are in our document. We're inside the body, inside the header, um, and we have created this uh, object that's called a header div. If we close the insert panel and look at our DOM menu here, you can see that you also see this hierarchy of objects that we've created up here in the document object model. So this is a kind of a schematic of us building our page. Collapse that. So with our header div selected, um, and if you want to make sure it's selected, you can either click on the outside of it or you can click inside it and choose the header, the div's name down in the uh, breadcrumb trail down here. Um, once it's selected, we can go back to the CSS Designer panel, open the CSS Designer panel up, and go down to the Selectors panel, click on the plus sign, and it sets up a rule for us for the header div. And notice that it is prefaced with this hashtag, which tells us that it's an ID type of rule. Hit Return go down to the properties uh, panel here to style our properties for the header div uh, choose layout find width and what we're going to do is we're going to create a fixed width for our web uh, for our uh, page elements I'm going to click on auto next to width and switch it to pixels and inside there now I'm going to type in 750 pixels wide for the width of our div and hit return. Um, the optimum width for most pages on the web, web that are using fixed width is between 650 and 800 pixels. Um, uh, that is currently the sort of uh, best practice for page width. Um, there are other types of page layouts um, that we'll be looking at a little bit later as well. But for the moment, let's do a 750 pixel wide uh, div. Then let's scroll down to the margin property. You can see we've got this four uh, areas of our margin that we can, we can work with. What we want to do is center this div in our page so that it moves as the page gets bigger or smaller. To do that, go to the left margin area and just next to the zero, instead of adding a specific width, we're going to click on that and choose auto. Then we're going to do the same with the right margin. Click next to it and choose auto. Now if you happen to get a rule wrong when you're styling, don't despair. You can just delete any rule by hovering over the rule you've created, clicking on the trash can next to it, and the rule goes away, and then you can correct your error if you need to. The important thing here is that we've got a 750 wide pixel header div 
set to right auto left auto margins. So let's close this. Let's replace the text, the placeholder text for content header with some actual te uh, text. I'm just going to type in Dave's web page. And let's make this a little bit bigger by highlighting it and going down to our property inspector and clicking on the format pop-up menu and we're going to choose heading one. Now heading one makes the text 24 point times. However, it doesn't just do that. When we select text and give it an H1 tag, and you can see the H1 uh, tag around the text here in the code view, that H1 tag tells a browser, uh, such as a, uh, a search engine specifically, such as um, Google, uh, Google search inside a browser that when somebody searches for a term such as Dave's web page um, using Google search that the Google search engine will return not only the page that has that h1 tag on it but it will return the content within the h1 tags so be judicious when you put h1 tags or H2 or H3 or any of the other header, header tags, heading tags around text in your page because it makes that text very important and that's what people are going to see when they, when they um, get a search returned uh, from finding your page. So we've created a header div. It's 750 pixels wide and it's um, centered in the page using left or, or left auto, right auto, and we have some text in there that has an H1 tag on it. Let's see what it looks like. To preview in the browser, we simply go to the uh, real-time preview icon in the bottom right-hand side of the Dreamweaver screen. Click on that. Uh, I have two browsers available, Safari and Chrome. You can edit your list uh, here if you wish to add more browsers or remove some browsers. I'm going to choose Safari. It asks me if I want to save the index.html page. I do. It also then asks me if I want to save any other files that are associated. I do. And this is referring to the CSS uh, desktop CSS file, which has also been altered. Click Yes to save that and then it launches the browser. Here is my exciting header and you notice if I expand the page or shrink the page that the header div, even though you can't see it, it has um, no style on the border, uh, but it, it contains this heading, uh, this H1 text, uh, it moves as I resize the page. So um, now that we know how to add a div and style it, let's go ahead in the next tutorial and add the rest of the elements to our home page.